All right, take a moment, see yourself sitting where you are, feel the seat beneath you. We're going to grow roots down through the floor from our feet, grow them down through the basements, through the subfloors, until we get to the earth far beneath our houses. Go grow the roots down through the earth, around the rocks, around the boulders. We keep on going down until we find the bedrock far beneath our houses. As we search along the bedrock, we'll find a pool of clear, cool water. The waters of chaos, the waters of potential. And we're going to suck those waters up through our roots and bring them up up into our feet. With each and every breath, we bring them further up into our legs and into our loins. Next breath brings them up into our bellies and into our chest. As we breathe, waters come up into our heads, through our arms and our hands. And each and every breath brings them further up, spilling out of our heads and out of our hands and back into the earth filling us with these waters from far below, these cool, clear waters of potential. Feel this energy running throughout your body. Now, we reach up and grow branches up through the ceilings and up through the roofs, up through the clouds and into the sky. And you're going to search for that one light that is directly above us, the pole star above us. We're going to pull down from that the light of water, the fires of water from above. We're going to pull that light down into our branches and into our hands. And with each and every breath, we'll pull that light down into our heads, into our chest. Each breath, it comes further down into our bellies and into our loins. So we bring that breath in, bring it down into our legs and into our feet. So with each and every breath, we pull this light in from above. We pull this water up from below and mix these energies within our bodies. Order and chaos, fire and water. The powers of creation mixing throughout our bodies. Breathe in and take in all of this energy that you need. Feel it fill up your reserves. But keep only what you need. And enjoy it for a moment. Then we're going to push any waters we don't need back into the earth. To push any lights that we don't need back into the sky. Good, pull up our roots, and pull in our branches. Take a moment to feel ourselves filled with this energy we just took in. And we know that if we ever need any more, we can always reach down and pull it up, and we can reach up and pull it down. But for now, disconnect, take a deep breath in and out, in, and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes and join us for ritual. First, we give to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us, you support us, you who nourish us, give us places to live. Without you, we would not be able to survive. We honor you first. We say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods. We are here to make offerings to the kindred. We are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows in each and every one of our houses. Mighty well, your waters run deep and you connect us to the underworlds.
the land of the ancestors. I give you this silver, and we ask sacred waters flow within us. The mighty fire, you burn and transform, and you take our offerings high into the sky, up to the shining ones, to the gods above. We offer you this incense. We say, sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep down to the wells below, to the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the worlds of the shining ones. We spurge and sense you with our well and our fire. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. And my grove and in all of our groves, the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. The light of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. And now we call on the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, all the names you go by, we call on you once more to aid us tonight, to watch over us as we do our works, to guide us and take our words far and wide so they are heard where they need to be heard, to bring back to us what we need to hear. watch over and guard us as we do our works this evening. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine and my house and in all of our houses. But the well open as a gate to the underworlds. The fires open as a gate to the upper world. And let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. In all of our houses, let the gates be opened. <sighs> now, Let's make offerings to the shining ones. Gods and goddesses of elder days, each and every one of you that looks over each and every one of us, our patrons and our matrons, we offer you welcome. To you of this very earth where we live, those who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. And to those that watch over us, that are unknown to us. To all of you, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Now we offer to the land spirits. You have fur and feather scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. You have leaf and twig and stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. To each and every one of you, be you seen or unseen, our house spirits, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our spires, and spirits, accept our offerings. And now we call on the ancestors. <sighs> to 
all of you of our family who have passed, we call on you and we offer you welcome. To all of you who we honor and respect, our chosen family, our mentors, our inspiration, we offer you welcome. And to all of you in this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And at this point, if you have offerings that you wish to make, please make them now. To you, Raven, six years, still remembered, still loved, still missed. To all the gods and goddesses, to all the ancestors, to all the land spirits, I give you my offering. All right. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we have given to you but we give you once more, we ask for blessings in return. Are you kindred? Accept our sacrifice. So now, mighty kindred, we ask what blessings do we receive? Shining ones. Shining ones give us lagus, waters, and emotions. Man and spirit, what blessings do we receive? They give us dagas, day. Ancestors, what blessings do we receive? We receive Gabo, the moon of partnership and gifts. I am reading this as seize the day, embrace the day. And not only enjoy what you get, but be generous in what you give. I think this is a wonderful reminder. Do we accept these omens? All right. Then, in each and every one of our glasses, mighty kindred, we call on you to fill all of our waters. Fill them with lagus and the waters and emotions that come with them. Fill them with dagas in the day. Fill them with gabo and reciprocity and gifts received and given. My kindred, fill these waters. Behold the waters of life in each and every one of our cups. And now we thank all of those who have aided us in this work tonight. Ancestors, be you our family, be you our friends and chosen family, or be you those of this very earth. 
to each and every one of you ancestors, we thank you. The land spirits, you fur and feather, our animal kin, you leaf and stem, our plant kin, Lord, be you the unseen spirits throughout to all be you for all that you do throughout our days. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the shining ones, the gods and goddesses of all the days, be you our patrons that watch over each and every one of us, be you of this very earth, or be you unknowns to us, to each and every one of you for all that you do throughout our days. Shining ones, we thank you. And mighty gatekeepers all, we've called on you to aid us in opening the gates. We call on you once more. But first we say for all the work that you do for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. Now join your magic with mine and my house and in all of our houses. Let the well become but water once more. Let the fire become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. My house and all of our houses, let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us and support us. You give us this weather, you give us food. You make life interesting at times. For all that you do for us, we would not be here without you. So we say, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.